Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn about how to create a traffic light chart in Excel. So in this spreadsheet, you can see that I have already created uh, two different traffic light charts. One is based on sales conversion and the second one is in quality percentage. And the target for this uh, uh, traffic light chart is, you know, if uh, sales conversion or quality is less than 70%, then uh, the traffic light color should be red. And if the like sales conversion and quality percentage is greater than equal to 70% and less than equal to 80% then the color should be uh, yellow right and if uh, the quality percentage or even uh, sales conversion is greater than 80% then the color of uh, traffic light should be in uh, green so here you can see that you know the quality percentage is 94% and that's why uh, this uh, traffic light chart is showing in green color right and here 70 uh, sales conversion is 79 percent and it's for uh, it's meeting the uh, you know the criteria for yellow and that's why this particular chart is uh, showing the color in uh, yellow okay so this is a totally dynamic chart and okay you know and uh, the interesting point of this chart is you know i have not used any uh, shapes to create uh, this uh, you know lights and i have i'm not switching on this light basis on uh, on some formula or some uh, uh, VLOOKUP, right? This is simple Excel chart hacking, right? And I have utilized bubble chart to create uh, these lights. And I have utilized, you know, uh, e icon basically. If you are working in Excel 2000, uh, Excel uh, 365, then you will find the icon and you can download this icon from there, right? This one, I am talking about this one, right? And if you are working on Excel 2016 or the lower version, then you can easily download uh, from like, you can Google it and download uh, and download it from uh, Google right and if you think that you need to create in uh, uh, this uh, this icon then you, you can easily create in a uh, PowerPoint I'll provide the link PowerPoint file as well as this file in description box so that you can download and practice it right okay so let's put it uh, again over here the chart which I was talking about you know uh, so this is a chart right I have utilized a chart uh, to design this you know and this is a bubble chart basically let's you know change the sales conversion and you know quality because see uh, i have utilized i have used a random between function to generate a random sales performance number as well as quality so let's press f9 so that uh, rand between generates some new sales conversion and quality random number and see whether uh, our light is getting changed basis on the, if uh, the number is uh, you know changed by sales uh, rand between function so now you can see that it, it started uh, showing because uh, now quality is in uh, falling in uh, red that's why it's showing red and our sales conversion is meeting the target for green so it's a green so now you can easily uh, see that you know uh, traffic lights uh, like both the charts are getting updated basis on the data available here right so this is a beautiful chart you can utilize this chart in your dashboard you know and you know kpi uh, where you need to uh, show the kpi performance then uh, both the like this chart will be useful okay so this chart is very easy to create and it will hardly take uh, five minutes of you right so let's move to demo worksheet and prepare this chart from scratch this is the demo uh, sheet and i have replicated the same numbers like the same uh, no, uh, table sales conversion and quality and the target right so let's start uh, preparing the additional uh, field basically additional tables to create the bubble chart so to do this just we need to create the first series basically so let's uh, enter here first series right let's merge it and give some different color like this one okay now we uh, actually we are preparing some data to prepare the bubble chart so bubble chart takes three uh, you know three uh, uh, different values one is x axis values one is uh, the second one is y axis value and the third one is you know size of bubble so like let's uh, size now let's write dummy red dummy you know yellow okay and dummy green okay now we need to uh, give the value over here so let's uh, like we need to keep equal size for all three uh, uh, lights so just enter one 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 for size right and just uh, give a uh, three two one as a value for y and you know x for two 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 right so let's select this data basically and you know 
and just uh, make the center alignment middle alignment and again uh, just uh, give the color as uh, this one and just uh, select this and make the center alignment right just uh, select entire table just select this okay and apply border so now our first series data is ready uh, let's create the second series one so just copy this and uh, we need to uh, paste over here right so basically we will we are creating second series for the actual uh, actual ball uh, like actual light where we are showing red uh, yellow and green so just uh, rename this dummy red to red and this is yellow and this is green so basically uh, this is only for the black color where uh, we are showing the light in black color right and this is for uh, the actual color that is uh, red yellow and black uh, green basically right we need to create a uh, two uh, x because see we have you no know, sales conversion in quality so if you have one uh, one measure and you are creating a uh, no, sales uh, uh, traffic light chart, light chart then just keep one x axis over here right and as we have two then we have, we need to create two uh, different you know x axis uh, you know, then just write and uh, just write down x uh, x for sales right and again here uh, x for quality okay and just merge it uh, and apply the border right so we have red and um, let's put a uh, one here okay and for x quality also one so so as of now we are considering a static value that is one uh, once we will create this chart then uh, we will uh, put some uh, no, formula so that it will uh, uh, it will get updated basis on the value update uh, available in sales conversion as well as quality and we will also consider this uh, this criteria while updating the value okay so let's you know select any of the range so let me select uh, this one uh, right and go to insert tab and in, in, in chart group just click on uh, insert a scatter chart basically or bubble chart and in bubble chart just uh, select the last one 3d bubble right just move here now uh, you can see that there is a beautiful bubble chart available but uh, we are not going to utilize this we will have to make some changes in this chart so let's right click on it and select uh, data okay in select data you can see that uh, there is already a series basically series one so we are not going to use this series so just uh, uh, select this series and remove now we need to add the series so just click on add and in series name just uh, select the first series right and in x values so we need to pass this this is the x value right and just remove this y uh, y value series y value and we need to pass the range of y again for series bubble size just remove this and just give the reference of size now click on ok okay so uh, now you can see that we have three different uh, uh, bubble available on the same axis that is you know for x2 and for y1 2 and 3 right the same like 2 3 2 2 2 1 so our bubble is ready uh, just uh, right click over here the x axis go to format axis and in format axis pen just uh, change the minimum to from auto to manual so just keep uh, enter 0 and you know for maximum just enter 4 okay now close this so now you can see that you know uh, our bubble is uh, reflecting in the middle of the chart right again we need to uh, add uh, you know the actual color that is uh, the uh, the second series basically the name of this should be second series right and uh, just right click on this chart select data and we need to add another series so let's uh, click on add and the uh, series name should be second series okay and uh, x series x y value will be for as so let's uh, create the sales conversion chart first and then we will create the quality chart so let's select uh, sales conversion for this one x value now remove the value for y and select the y value okay and again uh, remove the value of bubble size and select the size right and click on ok 
and again okay now you can see that uh, we have three uh, other bubble available here right on the uh, like uh, for x uh, axis one and you know one two three four y axis right so let's uh, change the color of uh, each and every bubble so first bubble should be you know red so go to format tab and you know and select the red and shape outline there should not be outline okay select the second bubble go to format tab and in shape fill select the yellow because the second uh, is yellow right and shape outline no outline select the third one and that should be uh, go to format tab and shape fill and that should be in green so i am selecting green and shape outline no outline okay so now we have changed the color of this let's uh change the color of uh, from blue to black so let's uh go to select the entire and go to format shape fill and black okay and shape outline no outline so that's done so now we have a uh, one uh, one series for black and one uh, for you know uh, red and yellow and green so what we need to do we need to keep this black uh, you know behind the uh, behind this series right so this should be on top of that so whenever like uh, if uh, there is no value of yellow and you know green there is only value for you know if like sales conversion is not meeting the target and only meeting the target for red so this uh, uh, this yellow and green will not be uh, reflecting and that's why you will be able to see the two one right because this is an uh, this is uh, behind this and if this all these uh, you know, lights are not uh, showing then uh, you will be able to see the black lights right and you will see the red light because the red light is in top of this black one okay so let's apply formula for that x value okay so let's enter if and if start bracket if 78 percent is this one is you know less than 70 percent you know then let's enter two otherwise any okay and for yellow uh, let's enter the formula if if and and c3 is uh, you know greater than equal to 70 percent comma c3 is less than equal to 80 percent then it should be true otherwise and okay let's apply the formula for green like if c3 is greater than 80 percent then two otherwise and okay so now we have successfully applied the you know uh, the x uh, the formula for x uh, x series for sales conversion right now and you can see that now uh, you know uh, red is showing and best of our uh, not showing because see we have applied any and that's why this uh, like uh, yellow and green are not showing and uh, black uh, because uh, both are not visible that's why you are able to see the black one okay now let's uh, uh, remove the grid lines so select the grid lines okay delete it okay just uh, select the y uh, this axis uh, y axis value and x axis now select the chart go to format and change the change the uh, size of chart form uh, like uh, height should be 7.62 that should be uh, and width should be you know 5.95 so 5.95 right and let's uh, drag this basically this uh, plot area to almost uh, from bottom to 40 percent right let's keep it over here and just go to a uh, traffic light chart this one and copy this one this icon basically uh, i'm talking with this icon right just copy this and move it from uh, there to here right and just place over this one this light okay now uh, just select this chart go to format tab and shape outline no outline right and uh, go to insert and text box just place a text box over here in and give the reference of like equal to sales conversion okay change the color to black font size black okay and uh, 
font should be Cambria, right? Make it center alignment, middle alignment. Okay, just make it here. Okay. Now we need to you know, uh, give the uh, reference of you know, value. So show the value basically data levels. Again, you go to insert tab and text box. Just insert a text box over here, right in the middle of this. Go to formula tab, formula bar plus equal to and then give the reference of sales conversion like that is c3 press enter now you can see that uh, the label is you know the uh, sales conversion has started reflecting over here go uh, go to uh, go to home tab and you know just uh, select the cambria okay and increase the size a little bit more 36 percent let's increase this one this one go to home tab and align center line and middle end okay now go to insert tab right and uh, under illustration shape select the shape and select the rounded rectangle and in the rounded rectangle just throw a rounded rectangle over here just uh, make it smaller okay go to format tab shape fill no fill shape outline so now you can see that we have created a sales conversion chart right so let's uh, copy this chart so press uh, select anyone press ctrl a press ctrl c and just press here and let's you know give the reference of uh, from c to 2 uh, this should be this one right press ok go to home tab black color and again now give the change the reference of uh, the data levels that should be you no know, quality right press enter and increase the size 18 so just let it be 18 okay so now we have successfully changed the data labels as well as you know, uh, the title we need to change the uh, you know the data source basically we have apply, we have used this one for quality as well so let's uh, give the reference of uh, this so before giving the reference of uh, you know, the x uh, quality let's apply the formula over here so if quality is like uh, e3 is is less than you know 70 percent then two otherwise zero right not zero basically uh, it should be na okay for yellow if and e3 is greater than equal to 70 percent comma e3 is less than equal to 80 percent right then it should be two otherwise na right and the third formula is you know if e3 is greater than 80 percent then it should be 2 otherwise na right so we have successfully applied the formula for x quality let's uh, select the chart right click on this chart select data so select the second series click on edit and now we need to change the, the x basically x axis uh, so no, for uh, like if uh, it has uh, it has selected the x axis for sales now we need to select the x axis for quality so just remove this okay and select the quality right and click on okay and okay okay so you can see that we have created uh, this uh, the traffic light chart for sales conversion and quality you can create this chart very easily and you know uh, uh, put it in your dashboard or in your scorecard so that's about the uh, traffic light chart i uh, hope you uh, like this video please like subscribe share and comment have a good day